Hello everybody, my name is Ash, welcome back to Resident Evil 2. We are currently playing on easy, just chilling, doing all that stuff. Taking our time, having a very casual playthrough, look at that, six saves, we died, we, six saves, we died, what, died twice. No shit's given, you know. So first things first, I want to get rid of this fucking spark shot because, good lord, it's awful. Where's the grenade shots? Oh wait, I've got the grenade rounds on me. <laughs> Silly Ash. So at this point in the game, uh, I think it might be perfectly acceptable to just run around with a grenade launcher. So I'm going to combine the flame rounds. Oh yeah, you can change what weapon ammo type you have constantly with this gun. It's It's pretty fun. And they all have their purposes, one, you know, obviously some enemies are more susceptible to fire, some are susceptible to acid, and most are susceptible to grenades. But grenades are more clo a close range thing. A huge breaker system that regulates all the power in the lab. The main fuse has been removed and the power is not active in some areas. We should fix that. The door is opened with a card key. Shutter shut is down. We press it. No response. The power is not supplied. And dreadful. And you got a cold room here for stage sprays and all that malarkey. We take the fuse case. Yeah, sure, sure. I can do that. case for an industrial fuses it's been designed for superconductor fuses it looks like a computer for organizing data files a control box for super low temperature experiments I could set a superconductor fuse here if I had a fuse case We set the main fuse. Yes, of course. I can restore the power to the lab with this. Yeah, I don't understand the uh, the whole icy room I mean it, it's because I guess it's so you can make fuses but it's just kind of weird that that exists anyway main fuse use West area. <gasps> BOWs, no. Is that 
both of them. Good, they're both dead. Plants are annoying. They can bite your head off. <laughs> they fucking hurt. Bogan bolts. Yeah, sure, why not? Laboratory security manual. Laboratory security manual. Security measures in case of an emergency. In the instance of an uncontainable biohazardous breakout, all security measures will be directed towards the underground transport facility. In the instance that any abnormalities are detected among the cargo in transit, all materials will be automatically transported from the loading zone to the designated high-speed train, at which point all materials will be isolated and disposed of immediately. In the instance of a class 1 emergency, the entire train will be purged and disposed of without delay. Huh. I guess that it kind of explains the uh, tr the train explode detonating at the end of the game. Oh, spoiler. Anyway. In the instance that the lab itself becomes contaminated, the northernmost route currently used for transport materials to form to and from the um, facility will be designated as the emergency escape. This route will secure passage to the relay point outside the city limits. Disclosure about any information regarding research conducted here or the existence of the facility is strictly prohibited. Since it is our top priority to keep all research classified, escape access may be denied under certain ex extenuated circumstances. Please. User registration. Temporary user registration for the culture experiment room. User name guest, password none, valid for 24 hours. we got this little room here. Researcher's corpse. It looks like he poured oil all over the place. Now we can actually use the lighter here, because I actually I mentioned in the last episode during the sewers that this is that the flare gun was the last place you could use the uh lighter, but it's actually wrong. You can actually use it here. But I have flame rounds, so I can just shoot the thing shoot the plants out. The console says anti BOW gas sprinkler. Will you turn it on? Yes. Easy enough, I say. Now, killing this plant, you have access to this room, which uh, the door is usually locked from the other side. Gotta love that. I like that, how I shoot around him for no reason, and I take a hit. That always happens for some reason. But there we are. Oh, the good thing about these grenade rounds is uh, they have maximum capacity. Oh, they have the, the grenade. The grenade launcher has no like l limit. Okay, the interior has been destroyed by the plant. Yeah, this entire room is infested. But yeah, helps to go in that that room. Look, a plant spawned in here. Now the, that BOW gas that we just used is supposed to weaken everything in the area. Sure. <laughs> or maybe it weakens it for, for scenario B. I'm not too sure. I always press it and because there's no you know there's something to gain from it but I'm not 100% sure what it is. Look at this fucking plant. Huge plant fills the room. 
Now, to feel like, again, going back to, like, game design, you know, I mentioned in the, like, the police station how it's absurd. Like, what is the purpose of that? Of that, uh, room that we just came in? With the big ladder. And where's the stairs? Is that the only way to get about in, uh, to get about? Because that just seems a bit absurd. There we are. Seems a bit absurd. There's a disk slot. The monitor says, insert the verification MO disk to open the gate. I saw a looking shutter blocks the passageway. Direct gateway to the underground platform. Easy enough, I guess. A map of, of the lab is available here. We take the laboratory map. Yes, I will. Got that. Got B5. B4. Easy, easy, easy. easy. Open up this uh, chest. Put our bow gun stuff away. That makes sense. Look at this room here. Doors open with a card key. It's a huge egg. Anyway, we brought this, uh, key long because the weapon box key is used here. Hey look, grenade rounds. To be fair, Leon benefits a lot more from these uh from that key because he gets uh, an upgrade to his most powerful weapon. Various chemicals. What kind of experiments have been performed here? Uh, the shady kind? The evil kind? Ah, oh, that's a red key card. Lab card key. It looks like a card key for lab access. It does. It really does. Various chemicals, what kind of experiments have we got on here? A vaccine synthesis machine. The lid is open, the base vaccine must go inside.
And this time, no one will take it from me. This is the most significant piece of research my husband has ever left in my hands. Stop it! Sherry's in serious trouble. William has planted her with his embryos. There's no telling when they'll pupate. And if that happens, then Sherry won't. She's getting stronger with each skin he casts off. <gasps> Jerry! Tell me what I need to know. How can I save Sherry? I have detailed information. Everything you need to know to prepare the antidote is right here. Instructions for synthesis of the G virus antigen, G vaccine, codename Devil. Any beings affected by the G virus will re reproduce through the impregnation of the embryo within another li living being. Unless rejected by the host, the embryo will undertake a process of gradual cellular invasion, infecting the host's cells on a molecular level as it rewrites their DNA. Once the metaphorosis is complete, the host will be capable of continuing this cycle of self-replication. The, the duration of time for the process to run its course will be will vary from subject to subject in early stages the cellular invasion it is possible to halt the progression of the metaphorosis through administration of the g vaccine antigen the following procedure details of the synthesis sim well. the vaccine creation requires the base vaccine this can be arranged by the activator vam or VAM, I guess, because it's in capitals. First, set the empty cartridge to, to the VAM and activate it. After the se after several moments, process will be completed, and a white coloured base vaccine will be set in the cartridge automatically. Then confirm the green green light is on. Remove the cat cartridge and process to the next step. Once the base vaccine has been prepared, set it in the vaccine synthesis machine located in the P4 level lab level experiment room which that's the room we just went in the machine is fully automated and will and only requires the user to push the sequence to start button switch whatever like that uh, at this point the program will run automatically and synthesis will be completed within approximately 10 seconds as the synthesis of devil is extreme an extremely delicate process the quality will vary with slight shocks or changes in the temperature. Careful handling is required for proper results. Save my daughter and, and tell her I'm sorry I wasn't a better man. Tell her to stop shouting. Oh. Annette! I always thought it was funny how it, when she bleeds out, when she dies like that, it's like she was holding in a piss. Can't walk over a corpse. Anyway, first things first. Place is gonna explode! But we've got a lab card key, so we're gonna use it on this room because if we don't, we can't discard it <laughs> when we use it in the final area. That's a giant moth. And we killed it because it's with ease. 
I can't reach the computer. We operate the computer, yes. Umbrella Rodham System version 5 or Cultural Experiment Room Staff Registry. Accessing. Enter username. Oh, we got a little piece of paper that told us just to put the word guest in. Valid for 24 hours. Registering your fingerprint. Please wait. Registration complete. Guest registration valid for 24 hours. How about that? No, we can't. I'm pressing X on on this room, but they're not. It's not like nothing's showing us anything. Now what? I fail to see understand what the point of this room is, and I wonder if there's going to be more to it in the remake. Like, do you have them off in in the remake? Will it? Will like? Will there be more of them? You know, it makes you wonder. Will there be more moths? And will that room actually have a purpose? Yeah, Leon somehow made it to the lab. About that, last time we talked to him, we were saying, we were like, hey, we found a way in the sewers to leave town, and now we're all we're both in a lab? What? Come on. Weird. Strange how, how, that, play, how that works. I like this this game soundtrack. It's I've said it in a previous episode, but I really do like this game soundtrack. Will you use this? It's a short switch. Will you push it? Yes, I guess I can. Hey, look, there's no plants behind it. It's tightly sealed. There is a control panel on the left. Two or more staff need to be present to enter. Commencing with fingerprint verification, will you proceed? Fingerprint verified. Commencing with secondary fingerprint verification, will you proceed? Uh, yeah, sure. Secondary user required. I need some help to get, you know, I need someone else to help me get, open the door. It's a shame. Lap card key, use us now. Yes, let's go through. Oh, grenade rounds. Look at that. The light switch, we push it. Yeah, of course. 
Oh, we should probably pick up this as well. I, I thought it was a first aid spray. I think it's the first aid spray. I think there's a first aid spray on, on the B scenario, but anyway, vaccine cart. Used to create the vaccine. I need the base vaccine first. So yeah, it's actually it's 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 car, it's sort of a cartridge actually. They don't put, tend to punch away uh, items. There we are. We used we used start switch for the VAM system. Will you push it? Yes. Well, I need to get a cartridge on that. Who? Uh, what's this? Oh, the MO disc. We definitely need the MO disc. Otherwise, we won't be able to leave this place. The label says for cargo verification room. Activate a VAM machine. VA for base vaccine synthesis. Let's hold set the cartridge. Base vaccine, yeah, sure, I can do that. Vaccine cartridge is processed with, an act with the activator. Now we've got to go back to that room that we were in before we uh, saw Annette. A lot of back and forth when it comes to this uh, game. Like seriously, like look how far down that ladder goes. Like this is—is is this the only way, way of getting up and down stairs? Like going to different parts of the lab. This must be a horrible place to work, especially if you're petrified of heights. Like Jesus. No zombies and a naked. Oh, there goes his legs. Now, I wonder. It's going to be a weird one. Fuck Sherry, let's escape. The vaccine has not been completed yet. Okay, I guess that's I guess that's yeah. Never mind. I guess we're not I guess you know. Sherry must live. Cause you know, Claire's a young girl. She's not she has not got, you know, the money or the the willpower to, to raise an orphan. You know something that would would have been cool is if she like if her net like turned into a zombie after you cured if you after you made the uh, vaccine. I don't know. 
We push the switch, yes. Now, how do you, how does she do? There you go. You've taken the vaccine. Now, how does one administer this vaccine? Do they inject it, inject it, or ingest it? I don't know. Or rub it on the skin? I don't know. It's weird. Check. I can save Sherry with this. It's open. It's open. It works. Yeah, I'm gonna be that scrub that uh, saves. <laughs> I've already saved like how many times have I saved? Oh, it'll tell us. I think this will be the seventh save. Yeah, I think the game will finish with a C rank, but I don't give a shit. Because this is like. Super casual. If you wanted a uh, playthrough where uh, like a single life playthrough, I've got so I've got I've got that on my channel. So perfectly acceptable. Stuff. They've all got this Kool-Aid storage machine, storage storage room. Weird how that works. A huge lift used to reach the platform. Will you activate it? Yes. Now we just gotta fucking wait for this stupid elevator. Can't actually act. Oh wow, I died. <laughs> I, I knew it. I fucking knew it. That landing on me made me danger, and I pressed circle as soon as as soon as I took the damage, but it didn't fucking. I didn't want any of it. Well, it looks like it looks like saving saving the game before the fight helped me out there. Oh well, I I, knew, I fucking somehow knew that was going to happen because I don't know. I just I just I just knew that it was one of them. It was going to be one of them where I'd get hit once, caution, and then I'd die from caution because of shenanigans. Since I'm a scrub, I will actually. Cause it says we're fine, but I don't think we're at a hundred percent because we took one hit and got hit with sense of caution, and then took a second hit and got sense of fucking death. I think we were on. You know, honestly, I think the fact that uh, we took the slash and it made us like, you know, deep into yellow caution, and then he landed on us, 
took us to danger, and then since he had a follow-up attack immediately after landing on us, that's what caused us to die. I think that's how it, how how, it, how that how that happened. Yeah, a lot of dicking about there, honestly. <laughs> oh, cool. Got the wrong one equipped. There you go. I'm not on caution now because I took took the uh, first day. I took the uh, full health uh, herbs. It's weird how his body mutates like this. Tricks to get him to fucking come down. Because I can't shoot him from up there. Unless, I mean, maybe I could if I had a gun. That wasn't a, uh... That wasn't a grenade launcher. I don't trust the game. There we are. What an awkward fight. That's all I can say about that. It's awkward. I don't know why Leon, Leon's a bastard letting it, letting the fucking train set off without Claire. But then again, we do have a few minutes until detonation. In fact, detonation is happening now. What the fuck? Thanks, Leon. She's been unconscious for the past fucking hour. If I give it to her, like, why, she, why would she say that? Leon doesn't know shit about Chris. My God has protected you. It will always be with you. <laughs> Claire. Sherry. By the way, your mom's dead. Oh. 
Okay, credit rolls. And we can't skip the credits because this game is old and we have to appreciate these Japanese people that we will never meet and, and fucking 50% of them are probably dead. Actually, that's, that's, kind of, that's kind of harsh, but some of them are probably dead. Not zombies, though. Just, they're just dead. So that was the A scenario. I would like to say it was easy playing on easy mode, but I played like shit. So what, what were we guessing? C? Probably a D, because I used several first aid sprays. Died a couple of times, saved seven times. It's probably the worst scar I've, I, I would have had since, uh, since I was a child. But I'm perfectly content with that. Aw, oh, Sherry's wearing these... Th Weird overall fit. Well, I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to be. B rank, huh? It took us three hours and forty-nine minutes. Again, that's, that took a long time, longer than I thought. It didn't feel like, uh, you know. Well, whatever. Number save seven. So yeah, we got a B rank. That's uh, that's strange. I, I thought we would have gotten a C. But I think the fact that it, I think the time and the first dates definitely made it not an A. Hmm. Leon B on easy. <laughs> you know what? We'll just load up the Leon B on normal because we do have. Uh, I think we have infinite a infinite ammo weapons on that one. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.